Hey, it's me, Lee. I have some exciting news for you guys. Not as exciting for me. I'm gonna do a tour of my high school sketchbook. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the reason why I'm doing this, on my Patreon account, I made a goal. If I got to $500 a month, I would do a tour of my high school sketchbook. Good thing I set that as a goal. So shout out to all my patrons who have supported me and anybody who has supported me in any way just liking my videos or just watching them and not even giving me a like. Shout out to you guys, this is for you. <laughs> this is gonna be this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you everybody, I hope you guys like this video because I would not be doing this if it was up to me. Let's, uh, get started then. <laughs> so excited. So this is my high school sketchbook. I worked in it from about 2010 to 2011-ish. This was my sketchbook for art for and AP art. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We had to do five to 10 sketchbook pages a um, week, I think, and hand it in, and we had to write these little comments on each page, so. All this writing are just comments about random junk just because I had to write them. During this time, I was all about collaging, mixed media, I would doodle patterns during class. I practiced design a ton in the sketchbook, just experimenting with textures and colors and how to use different media, so that was good. A lot of, a lot of these, a lot of um, sarcastic things that I just write right on top of the page, so just be aware of that. I'm gonna try not to slam my drawings and say negative things about them. So we'll see how that goes. A lot of collage. Uh, I start to draw more during, cool, cool, cool. I'm the same person. <laughs> so as I was flipping through this sketchbook, I flipped through it before I started filming this video. I have this not planned at all. So anything could happen. And I started flipping through this and I was thinking that these drawings would be super different from what I do now, but honestly, they're not. <laughs> they're just not that different from what I do now. Side note, I copied artists from Tumblr. I don't know who they are, but I know I copied this from somebody. Shout out to the artist. I didn't think I would be sharing this sketchbook on the internet five years later, so I didn't tag anybody or write down the artist's names and I didn't know what I was doing, so if you see any artist's work that you recognize, shout out to the artist. So I'm this sketchbook thinking it was going to be different from what I do now, and it's not. <laughs> the colors are a little different, my techniques are a little different, I'm obviously a little younger and experimenting a lot more, but it's pretty similar to what I'm doing now, now that I'm looking at it. It's like bunnies and little patterns around them. Look, I'm even doing leaves. I do these exact leaves still. So, same person, go figure. Also, wanted to do a little advice for young artists while we flip through this because I'm not gonna have a ton of comments on the drawings because I did them so long ago and I don't, I don't really have a lot to say about them. So, advice for young artists, here we go. I'm gonna mention some things that I didn't do that I wish I did, and then some things that I did do, and I'm glad I did them. So first I'm gonna do the things that I wish that I did. I know at this time, I felt the same as I do now. I really wanted to be able to, oh, that's me. I'm a little ADD right now. I know I wanted to be drawing more people, so I did draw some people, but I depended highly on reference, and I didn't experiment a lot. It's like a finished drawing. I didn't do a lot of like figure, 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 figure which I wish I would have done at this time. So if there's something you really wanna draw and you feel like you're not good at it and you're not improving, just keep drawing it because I feel like I missed out on a lot of practice because I was kind of sticking to collage and whatever, which I did benefit from this. I did get a lot of design experience, mixing all these media and figuring out how they work together. That was super important, but shout out to myself for always experimenting with every single medium at the same time. Um, another thing I wish I would have had is nice paper. This is just drawing paper. I think this is a Canton just drawing sketchbook and it kind of pushed me away from using watercolor a lot, which I do love now and I know I did like it at this time, but I wasn't really understanding how watercolor artists I saw 
were getting the effects that they were getting and I was like, it's not happening in my sketchbook. I guess I just am not good at watercoloring, but it was, I can see that it was the materials I was using. So it turns out kind of flat and chalky. So if you want to use watercolors or markers or anything, try and get a specialty paper for that. If you're looking for a watercolor sketchbook, my absolute favorite is the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook. Absolute fave. It is a little pricier, but it's my fave. If you're looking for a cheaper option, Canson Mixed Media Sketchbook, a lot of people like that one. Also, I didn't have that nice of watercolors, so I wish I would have invested in, like, I was using this very chalky palette, like really cheap. I'll just put in a picture here because I don't know what it was, but if you like that kind of watercolor, go for it, but it doesn't work for me. I wish I would have had nicer watercolor, but whatever. Things that I did do that I liked as a young artist, I experimented with everything. Look at this page. I was like, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna collage, I'm gonna do use this texture thing that I'm doing, I'm gonna write on it, I'm gonna try and make an appealing design, I'm gonna try and draw branches. Like, I was doing color studies without knowing. Like, this was an owl. Not sure what happened there. But yeah, that's something I really like about this, and I would just aimlessly doodle, and I felt, I feel like looking at this, I gained a lot from just doodling and being free with my artwork that I don't have a lot of time to do now. I can see how each page is just a little different and I'm building off and learning without knowing it. Great. Which just comes with doing a sketchbook all the time, but just want to acknowledge myself for doing that. So my last short bits of advice are keep drawing stuff even if you think it's ugly just make things whatever you like to do do it at this time i was doing photo a lot and video and i was all over Flickr. a lot of people from Flickr have refound me now and recognized me which is super duper weird but yeah i was doing a lot of photo and video and that has helped me a lot with my youtube channel so seriously anything that you like to do Practice it, make things, it will help you in the future. Even if you think it's stupid now, it probably will help you. I think that's all the advice I have right now. I think that's it. When I was in high school, I was doing like random dark art like this, so just beware it's coming up. The reason why I was doing dark art is because my art teacher was like, hey, you need to have some type of intention behind your art. And I was like, I don't wanna, I like cute stuff. And then she was like, you need it. And I was like, all right. So I decided to go dark. And then she stopped asking me questions because it seemed like I had some type of plan. I don't know, this looks like pollution to me. I made like a large piece of this one. That's, that's why I got dark. And I was just like, you know what, YOLO, I'm gonna do it. And I did it. Yep, I would draw that. I like bears, I don't know why I'm using blue pen, but I'm sure it's fine. I would actually write that right now. So so this looks like something I would make right now. I have painted foxes in the last month once on my fingers, I don't know. This one, I just painted a polar bear today. Let me show you. Like, I could have painted this today, but I painted this one today, actually. So like, almost the same, amazing. I seriously really thought when I opened this, it would be way different from what I make now. Nope, it's the same. <laughs> but I definitely don't, just like don't really draw books anymore, or, like fish or, you know, draw from life. So it's a little different. Different color schemes too. I was more into darker earthy tones, I guess. It's my friend Jill. It's seriously so great to look back on this, just to see what I've learned and actually learning from my past self to be more like, who cares what it turns out? Like, I'm just gonna draw and make it work, and I did. Like, I was like, oh, I'll cover that up, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> so. <laughs> this was my absolute favorite page spread in the sketchbook. It was always my fave. I still like it. But I remember looking at it and being like, wow, this is my best work. Nice. Didn't care. I was like, you know what? This is my sketchbook. Who cares? 
which is absolutely amazing because I would carry this sketchbook around with me everywhere. And, oh, okay. And everyone has to look at it and like seriously everyone would look at it during high school. And it looks like I just didn't care that much. I was like, well, I don't really like that. Oh, do whatever, it's still there, who cares? I feel like now I'd be more like, well, I gotta make sure it's good just in case people are looking at it. But this is the end, I think. Just a little doodle on an, I think this is an essay. Yep. And that's, that's the end, guys. Oh, I did not draw as many cats as I do now. I, I wish that I drew a lot of cats. But like, this is all the cartoon cats I drew. I just didn't put them in my sketchbook. But I know I doodled them on homework and stuff, so. That's it. I hope you guys liked the video and seeing what I've made like six or seven years ago. I hope my advice was somewhat helpful and it was entertaining for you and inspiring to see where I started. So good. I'm glad we could share this together. Very fun. So leave a like if you liked the video or comment or subscribe. That would be really fancy. Thank you for watching. See ya later. Bye.